collective to support women and men to take action for gender equality because we believe that change doesn't just happen, that you have to fight for it, you have to work for it, and that it won't just be delivered from up high by some policy makers behind closed doors, that it will take all of us to get out there in our communities, on the streets, and to create the change that we want. Right. Hi, my name is Miriam um, and I'm the LGBT representative for the NUS Black Students campaign and the reason why I'm here is basically to learn well, more about the feminist movement in its entirety um, and learn more about um, the issues uh, that women and black women face um, in terms of uh, barriers, you know, whether they be perceived barriers, you know, cultural, religious, that sort of thing. I have been mostly volunteering here today and I ran a workshop earlier. Um, and it's been really inspiring. The, the workshop was one I often run, which is about how to mobilise people in your community. And I run that for lots of different kinds of activists doing lots of different sorts of progressive movements. For me, I mean, I've not been to a feminist conference before. What has surprised me is that men are here. Being a feminist is about my own experiences of being a woman. And I feel that being in that reproductive um, talk that we just had, I think that the conversation would have flowed a bit better, people would have been sort of more open to debate without men there because I think it's already quite a taboo issue and it's quite difficult to talk about these issues even with other women. My name's Jane Douglas and I run What The Frock which is a series of women's comedy nights promoting women comedians who are talented and anybody can welcome in the audience but it's putting women comedians in the spotlight. Uh, I'm interested in a lot of things to do with women's rights. I'm interested to do with women in mental health. I'm interested to do with women in equal pay. I'm interested to do with the representation of women. I'm very anti page three, anti lap dance clubs, anti hooters. But I'm also very pro promoting women in the arts. You know, there's a huge gap where women are not on TV, they're not in magazines, they're not on television, they're not in literature, and all those other spheres, unless they're very pretty women, or unless they're there, not for what they do, but just for what they look like, you know. So I'm interested in promoting that. I think women's access to political power needs to be redressed, and it needs to be redressed as quickly as possible. Everyone's been talking about this for countless years, and still women, um, do not have the access to political power that, that, that they should have. I think I'd like to see more male feminists. I think this is a movement where, like, I mean, today this is the, one of the first times that we've really, I've really noticed there's been a lot more men than usual. Um, I think we need to change men's attitude to rape and men's attitude to sexual assault. I think we need to change men's attitudes to street harassment and to women in general. particular interest, what I really want to do is find uh, vehicles to facilitate tightening community into tribe for those women who are in refugee centers who are on the run. It seems to be they're a little bit uh, isolated from one another. The treatment between boys and girls, um, I have a little four-year-old boy, so it's really, it's come really clear to me about how differently they're treated. I mean, toys are gendered, clothes are gendered, they're treated differently at school, their expectations and reactions to how they acted differently. It makes me really angry.